Hey everyone, welcome guys, welcome. Everyone, hope everyone had a great weekend. Hope you had a great holiday weekend. Hey Gary, welcome Gary, welcome. Hey Lewis, welcome Lewis, welcome. Hey Solomon, welcome, welcome guys, welcome. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. All right. Um, you guys know the markets, uh, equity markets was closed today for the holiday. Uh, so um, market should open again tomorrow. All right, we'll open again tomorrow. All right, we'll take a look at um, the equity markets as you guys see here. All right, so um, we do have buy signals that came in on the 240, all right, on Friday. All right, last time we got together was uh, Thursday. So on Friday, we got buy signals uh, on the NASDAQ. So if you guys look here, all right, now this is on the 240, all right? So we'll take that, all right? That's that we've got some confirmation there. Um, we will wait until we get buy signals on the daily time frame um, uh, to really start getting back in, in stocks. But we can start looking at opportunities now. All right? We have buy signals on the NASDAQ, all right? So our, you guys know uh, this blue arrow here, that's a buy signal, all right? Buy our systems. Uh, on the NASDAQ and also on the S&P, we have a buy signal here. All right, so we'll take a look at some opportunities uh, in uh, stocks. And we spoke last week as far as um, uh, energy stocks. So we'll, in particular, we'll take a look at some energy stocks, right? Uh, to see if we can find some opportunities there. Uh, as far as the Dow, we don't have a buy signal yet in the Dow. All right, so no buy signal yet in the Dow. All right, and also the Russell, no buy signal yet in the Russell. All right, but prices are moving higher. We have green candles. All right. Um, as far as the VIX, VIX looks very, very bearish. That's good. All right, so now we are 13.09 on the VIX. All right, so um, what can we say about the VIX? It's a good environment uh, for stocks uh, to move higher. Um, we looked last week at the all the not the all time low, but the most recent few years of lows, and that was about nine. All right, so here we are at thirteen. That's very good. You guys know, all right, that if twenty above twenty on the VIX, all right, that's bearish. Okay. As we move higher, like in this area here, becomes very bearish. So as the VIX moves lower, that's bullish for uh, the equity markets. All right. Um, we still, as far as the indexes, um, um, like I said, right, buy signal on the da on the NASDAQ here, on the S&P here. All right. We'll start looking for stocks. We'll do that this evening. But again, we still need... To see the market really start taking off, um, moving higher, uh, we need buy signals on the daily time frame. But we'll take this on the 240, all right? Um, on the sectors here, uh, sectors are still down, all right? Energy is the top sector right here, um, tech and telecom, all right? So we'll, like I said, we'll take a look at some uh, technology stocks, okay? Um, as far as... Um, I want to talk about 4X. Send out a message today uh, that 4X, Monster Scalper in particular, um, is uh, was at 16 all the way up here. It might have gotten down to about uh, uh, 14, 15 intraday, all right? Um, but um, when we, uh, overnight, right, overnight, we only, we only had 16 pairs, guys, 16 pairs. Um, above uh, 20. That is not good for, for our Forex. That is absolutely not good. All right. Um, just know when we have when we have a pairs that are below 20 and red, like all of these pairs down here, um, not only are the pairs in um, a tight consolidation, but the Forex market as a whole is in a, a tight consolidation. Okay. Now, there are opportunities. There are some opportunities. All right. We've stopped sending out picks for right now. All right. Now, that can change. Forex will can, can move quickly. All right. If things change, if we look for, if we find opportunities that's 
Um, we have to be very selective. Okay, so if we find opportunities, and it has to be an individual opportunity, opportunity, we'll send that out. But there are no rotations right now, meaning we don't have any particular group, rather than Aussie, New Zealand, yen, right, euro, pound, dollar pairs. There's no particular group right now that's leading, all right? And again, most of the Forex market right now on this time frame is consolidated. All right. Now we did a class um, on Friday with um, uh, just our traders, right? You guys know we have a traders roundtable on Fridays, and we talked about reducing the time frame. All right. So if you guys, if you guys, if you want to trade, right, we don't always have to trade, right? But if you want to look for opportunities, uh, you can do that. Just use you can use your uh, 240 as your base reduce right reduce um your time frame right perhaps 15 minute time frame 30 all right and try to trade the consolidation but again just be careful i did hear from some of you today who tried that all right and um had some success okay it's not what we do every day but it, you you know it's with the with the way the market is consolidating right now um that might give you guys an opportunity to change but just be careful with with that okay um we did have um uh the pairs move to about 18 right now so we have 18 right 18 above 20 all right um so that's i mean that's a little improvement but we're still in a tight consolidation okay so keep that in mind a lot of times when we trade um especially when these markets are not performing well right we think there's something that we're doing right that, that's why we're not having a lot of su success but remember that our success is highly based all right or can be affected by what the market is doing all right so as long as we execute properly all right we should get good results but we need these markets to cooperate okay so just keep that in mind all right keep that in mind um um forex dominator um, it's getting almost the same way. We were ha we had a lot more pairs in forex dominator. You guys know we hold the pair. The um, we have a longer time frame, daily time frame. So forex dominator tends to hold the trades much longer. Um, but even with forex dominator, all right, we we really start to consolidate. We are at 23, 23 bear pairs above 20. All right, 23 pairs above 20, and as you guys know, we track about 57 pairs, okay? So that's a little over half of the pairs, all right, um, are consolidating in Forex um, uh, Dominator. So that's not good, guys. That That's not good. Okay, so just remember, if you're going to trade, I'm not saying don't trade, but if you're going to trade, right, reduce those time frames, right? Reduce those time frames um, and just be trade lightly, be selective, uh, be careful out there, all right? Uh, Gary, uh, over 20, all right? That's a good question. Okay, so let's open this up here because this is important, okay? So um, if, it, if the pairs right here, all right? So these pairs here are above 20, all right? All right, 20. These pairs here, 20 and yellow, all right, all right. Down here, this 19 and below, so 18 and higher. So, so one, two, three, four, all the way down to 18 and higher. Those are above 20 and yellow. Those, those pairs are in a consolidation, but they might be high near the consolidation if we go in long or low near the consolidation if we go in short all right so just know that um any of the pairs that are at 20 let's say 20 22 23 and a good way to learn this is to just click on those symbols in your system and start looking at the charts so 20 all right 20 to about 20 23 24 all right they should be near either support or resistance level all right getting ready to break through resistance all right as they get higher like 35 right here all right they should be 
I'm not, it's not exact, but they should be out of that support or resistance range. All right. So getting into that markup phase. All right. Um, 40, for example, here, 40, 43, they should be um, in the markup phase. All right. And possibly, you know, high in the markup phase. All right. So, and then all the ones here, right? All of the ones that are below 19, below 20, so 19, 18, all of those should be in a tight consolidation, okay? And that's recent, guys. That's recent price action. So let's take a quick look because this is important. So Gary, I'm glad you mentioned this, okay? All right, so that's the, that's the powerful nature of Monster Scalper. Um, we can analyze every single pair, but we can also analyze how the market is doing, right? If it's favorable, if it's ready to trade or not. So if you guys look here, um, we're going to look at a pair all the way down here. So the, the lowest pair down here, which is 57 and red, and that's at a number 10. So that just, just look, think of that as a tight consolidation, all right? And if you look here, see you guys right here? That's a very tight consolidation all through here. It's not trending like this, Gary. All right. So this, when when it was when when USD SGD was in the nice markup phase, this was probably in the 50s, right? 40s, high 40s, 50s, and so forth. Right now, it's been consolidating, right? Now, if we're gonna, if we can, you can trade this, right? You can trade this area in here, trade this area in here. However, we've got to reduce that time frame to a smaller time frame. All right. Like I said, 1530, you want to do that every time. Here's the, another one here that's consolidating. All right. So this is kind of like the distribution phase, right? So here, right, this was your trend. This was when it was higher. All right. In that markup phase, trending higher. That number was, you know, 40, 50, 60. Now it's consolidating. It's not trending. Very difficult to trade. All right. So we can reduce that time frame. All right. So as we go up, you guys can see they're just consolidating. All right. Consolidating. And the bottom line is that we have a lot of pairs that are consolidating. No matter what you do, it's going to be very tough. Right. Look at here. Right. Very tough. Here is support. Here is resistance right here. All right. So here's resistance. All right, Gary. Here is support. All right, so right here, so here, it's consolidating. And that one here, EURCAD, is at 30, uh, it is number 37, but it's at 15, what's that, 1578. That's below 20, all right? So it's consolidating. We can trade this, uh, ex ex you know, I wouldn't recommend this for new traders, but experienced traders, we can reduce the time frame and trade between support and resistance to try to at least get some pips out of the markets, okay? As we get higher, right? So here's the top, here's the top um, um, pair right now at 43.50. And you notice here, this one is breaking out. It's no longer consolidating, right? In the accumulation phase, we have a buy signal or green candles that's breaking out, all right? USD MXN, all right? And then um, this one here, USDCNH, all right? It's trying to break out here, all right? Um, but guess what? It's still consolidating, and we're looking at this move here, all right? Um, this one here, right? A little move here to the downside. But and none, I mean, any. if you guys look here, right, there's nothing that's tradable right now. Even the ZAW pairs, right? having some difficulty, okay? So just like I said, just be careful, all right? There is absolutely nothing really trending right now, okay? And you guys know we make money, right? Trends can, you know, that's the markup phase, all right? All right, so uh, great, great question, Gary, okay? Um, what number would be good for a markdown? Um, same thing, okay? So the same thing, this right here, right? The radar right here, right? Is long or short? Okay, long or short. Ideally, ideally, um, when we start getting into the markup phase or the markdown phase, um, high 20s. So like 26, 23, 22 
right? We we still in that consolidation, all right? But but getting trying to get out of it, right? 26, 27, 28, that's when you'll start seeing um prices break through support or resistance, all right? As we get higher, 30, 35 or so, that's when we'll get to see buy signals. Kind of like this. This one here is 43, Gary, 43.50, and we have a buy signal. So that for, that buy signal probably came in when the price was about 30, let's say. Okay? All right. Good question. Good question. All right. I, I know we go through this all the time, but repetition, right? And um, this here in your systems, right? in your monster scalper system and in your forex dominator system right paying attention right over here and over here will will really help you guys okay and you notice here we have no there's no um direction all right so aussie kiwi yen pairs right um scattered all over the place right there's no no buy-in right or no real selling all right just buyers and sellers are mixed um and even with the dollar pairs somewhat mixed right but looking to form um looking get, get more buyers there all right euro pairs are mixed all right and pound pairs are mixed and that's typical right when things are consolidating but i always say right when we consolidate eventually we'll have to break out okay so when the markets consolidate like this, this is the time, like I trade lightly, protect your capital, protect your capital, all right? Um, protect your mindset too, all right? If you trade these markets um, aggressively when it's like this, you're going to be very exhausted, okay? So by the time, hey, Mary, welcome. So by the time that when the, you know, the, the markets have to consolidate before they break out. Okay, just like they did here, consolidating this pair, consolidated here, and then um, broke out. So this is your time to get ready. All right, get your capital ready. Right, get your process in in intact. This is when you guys should be doing your work. Right, all right. Either um, getting your systems ready. Right, um, uh, you know, stay in stay in contact with the training classes. Right, come to that Friday. Um, a round table class, getting that information ready so that um, when the market gets ready, finally ready, right? You have your capital, your mindset will be ready to go, all right? Like any sport, okay? So um, that's 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 where we are right now with 4X, all right? Not a big deal. Just know where we are in 4X, okay? All right, let's take a look at the current positions we have, all right? And we don't have a lot in 4X, but right? let's take a look at the current positions. Uh, these are long positions, all right? And the last time we took a look at these were, I, uh, I believe, it was uh, Thursday, okay? Thursday. So um, Aussie CAD, it's still holding its buy signal here, all right? New Zealand CAD, all right? White candles here, all right? Buy signal was right here, still holding, all right? Um, uh, Aussie yen, that we should be out of that trade. Buy signal was here, sell signal here. Very difficult trading. Look at this. Very difficult trading. Okay, so close that trade. All right. Aussie CAD, New Zealand CAD, you know, for right now, right, can still hold, the, hold those two. Okay. All right. No shorts. We don't have any shorts right now in um for in my uh, monster scalper okay no shorts currently so those are the two all right those of you who get in the signals you will still get some signals okay just be careful we didn't get, we didn't have many we're not getting a lot all right but you'll get some from time to time um don't just be very careful if you guys have any questions on any of um the symbols any picks let me know. Send me a chart, right? Uh, let me take a look at those before you you get into them. All right. Uh, very very risky market right now. All right. All right. As far as our forex, uh, let's take a look at uh, the long positions in forex uh, dominator 
like I said, we're not taking any new position. These are just the current positions. All right. Now, like I said, if things change, we'll send out alerts. Okay. But it's got to be almost perfect. All right. Swiss yen buy signal is here. Swiss yen is still holding, guys. Really good trade for seven, eight hundred pips. Uh, Euro yen buy signal was is here. That's still holding. Nothing to do there. Uh, pound yen buy signal is here. That's still holding. And forex dominator. Uh, HKD JPY buy signal is here. That's holding. It's consolidating here, but they're holding. SGD JPY Singapore dollar buy signal is here. Holding all green candles. Uh, pound Aussie. Pound Aussie buy signal is here. All right. That's holding there. Near support, green candles. Keep an eye on that one. All right. Uh, pound New Zealand, buy signal is here. At least the, the pound pairs are holding, guys. Green candles here. Two green candles. All right. Held support. All right. Good job there. Nice upward trend line. Look at this trend line here. Absolutely perfect. Nice, perfect trend line right here. All right, so nothing to do there. Pound New Zealand, Euro Swiss. I'm sorry, Euro S E K. All right, buy signal is here. Retraced a bit, holding. All right, and it's holding its trend line. This one here, if anyone is in it, okay, um, this is what we're looking for here. I want to take a look at that dollar HKD though. We haven't looked at it on uh, last time we did was Thursday. We'll take a look at. All right, we're looking for a breakout there. Uh, the trend line here on this one, nice trend line, upward trend line. And then we've got resistance right here. All right, resistance right here, high right here, right? Nice triangle, nice wedge, right? Nice wedge building here. Uh, all green candles looking to, we just need to break out right? Break resistance and move higher. E-U-R-S-E-K. And just, just know that these are individual trades, okay? All right. Uh, USD HKD, all right? This is the one here, right? We were hoping, right, to break out of this high here. Really good resistance here. We've pulled back from that resistance, right? Buy signal was here, all right? We're getting close to that resistance, all right? Pull back, um, all green candles though. Okay. It is a concern, but we still have green candles here. All right. So I would say we get a white candle, just close the trade. Okay. Just close the trade. Um, but so far, right. Trying to hold, hopefully we can get buyers to come back in. Uh, let's take a quick look at, uh, the dollar index, because this is a dollar pair, USD HKD. Uh, let's see what the dollar is doing. All right, so dollar is still holding. Look at the dollar. Hold that resistance line right here. So dollar is still holding down right now, right? Down a bit right now. Not by a lot, but it's really at resistance right here. Really want to break out. That dollar wants to break out. Uh, the dollar is trading at about, what's that, 104, 104, okay? Um, uh, E-mini futures are up currently, okay? So... Uh, so if that dollar breaks out, that will certainly help uh, USD HKD right here. All right, so we'll continue to hold uh, this pair in Forex uh, Dominator. Okay, all right, all right. Short positions, current shorts. See how they're doing in Forex uh, Dominator for us. All right. Uh, now, we're not adding any new positions in Forex all right, this evening, but we'll look at equities. Right? Um, new Zealand CAD, right? Sell short signal is here. Red candles. All right. So sellers are looking to come back in. That's good there. All right. Um, that's New Zealand CAD. New Zealand dollar still holding it short. Right? Sell short signal is here. Right, made a move to a low here. Now retracing, coming back down. That's really good. Right, all red candles. Right, nothing to do there. 
all right this is the inverse so if the dollar breaks out this right new zealand dollar uh, will come down all right and then aussie dollar should look almost similar so short signal is here all red candles nothing to do keep an eye here though we have white well i'm sorry we have yellow support and resistance lines right here guys yellow support and resistance so within the markdown phase we're getting higher highs higher lows that's usually a reversal coming okay right where we could see buyers come back in so keep an eye on that that's not good all right just like right in the markup phase we don't want to see any purpose support and resistance that's lower highs lower lows within the markup phase right here is the reverse right yellow support and resistance says us we have in higher highs higher lows buyers um could come in so uh, not that you have to close the trade but just keep an eye on it that's aussie dollar uh in forex uh dominator there okay all right let's take a look at equities and uh, we'll see how um uh, oh, equities were up markets were up i believe i believe on um on friday All right, stock boss. Now we don't have a lot. We only have what four stocks right now. But like I said, we can we'll start sending picks slowly. Okay. All right. So that's good. All right. Nice movement here. Buy signal right here. CDLX buy signal 692, trading at 1722. All right markets hold continue to move higher this should move higher good trade here right breaking through um, new resistance levels here all green candles nothing to do all right this one here that's holding rsi that's holding here keep an eye on this one though you have sellers are sitting right here at resistance right here right right here i right, keep an eye on that then this one here is breaking out t d u p buy signal is here and that's breaking out nicely there. That's in stock boss. Now, Bull Master, nice trade here going with in Bull Master. AEO, guys, buy signal here uh, is at 1318. All right, trading at 1736. And we are getting past the highs here, resistance here. So that's great news. Gapped up on Friday. Good trade going there. All right, good trade going here. Buy signal is here holding another one here so most of these stocks here all green candles market is performing a little better so we start to see these stocks not only hold but move higher okay that's what we want all right look at that one here rytm all right buy signal was right here at 1995 so call it 20 and now it's at 2780 breaking resistance here nice big candle that's awesome okay all right um buy signal here all right upwork upwk right right at 951 trading at 1496 all right holding there nicely so nothing to change with the current positions what's that v all right vm what's that vnc buy signal was at uh 1602 1605 right um, a breaking resistance right at and trading at 2450 and then we've got resistance right here it's knocking right at resistance right here all right so this is where sellers came in strongly before and here we are looking to test resistance hopefully break it if the market holds okay so not bad not bad all right at least the current positions are holding that's that says a lot about um the market all right and remember vix is down right these indexes even under 240 we've got some buy signals so we're not trading at support testing support levels we're moving higher okay uh let's take a quick look at Uh, the US 30 and NAS 100. And then we'll take a, we'll look for um, picks in Stock Boss and Bull Master, and then we'll be done for the evening. Okay. Uh, remember, nothing for 4X right now. Nothing for 4X. 
Um, you can do it on your own, but again, reduce that time frame and be careful. All right, this is why we trade different markets. All right, um, US 30, we're waiting for the US 30, okay? Um, right now, the buyers is to the long side, but you know, if we get a break of support here, all right, we have a nice triangle going on the 60 minute time frame. All right, right, things are consolidating. All right, we're getting lower. See right here, price is being squeezed. Price is being squeezed. So we anticipate a breakout. Okay, um, on the daily time frame, same thing. All right, a lot of wide candles. So we have a lot of indecision right now on the in the US 30 on the daily time frame. Okay, so a lot of wide candles right here. All right, each candle here is a day's worth of data. Okay, so price is being squeezed on the daily, but the most importantly, right here. Okay, all right, so we have support here, right? Triangle here, downward trend line. We'll see what price does. All right, the bias is to the upside, so it would be great, right? We can break through, right? Resistance in here, right? Break through that area in here, get a buy signal somewhere in here. All right, we'll let you guys know, okay? But this is setting up nicely, all right? Setting up nicely um, to go long. The bias is to the long side, okay? Uh, that's the US 30 with the NAS 100, same thing, all right? Now it's even better here with the NAS 100. Okay, let's move that resistance up a bit, okay? Right above here. So we have all green candles on the daily, Right, just consolidating right here for about a week, right here, right? For about a week, every candle here is a day worth of data here, right? So it's re really want to break through that resistance. Nice big candle here and a nice upward trend line here, resistance here, right? This is setting up to be a great move, all right? So our um, Monster US 30 traders, our NAS 100 traders really um get ready all right and i know all right for for the us 30 nas 100 is going to take a bit more capital okay to trade it all right a lot of times right we don't trade it because right we're concerned about that capital so this is the time to get your capital ready so that when it breaks out you guys are not you're not chasing it right you're there ready Right, so we want to be ready and waiting, expecting these moves. These moves will happen. They will happen. All right, they will happen. Look at the previous move here. All right, they will happen. All right, so it, they're just, just waiting. So wait, wait, wait. Get everything else together. Get your systems running properly. Right, get your mindset, your mindset right. Right, anything, any distractions that you've got, right? Put those two, two. We all have distractions, so whatever distraction you've got, right? Put that away. Get focused right now. This will break out, and there's a good chance, right? It's gonna break out to the upside. All right. If it breaks down to the downside, we'll wait. All right. We might have a little, a, a small opportunity for a short. All right. But the bias is everything is to the upside. Okay. All right. So our NAS 100 traders, US 30 traders, there should be should be no excuse, all right, for the next round of, of trading here, okay? Um, let's take a look at equities, and we're done. So stock boss, let's see how many stocks, and we should have more stocks in stock boss for heat seeker, right? So 39, that's good. We're seeing buy signals coming, 39, guys. All right, in stock boss. Okay, all right. I don't know. I don't know how many we can get through, but let's let's get to it. All right. Um, I want to take a look at energy. Uh, energy, energy. Uh, let's do this here. Let's see, bull master. How many we have in bull master? Seventy six guys. Is seventy six. You guys know. But a week ago, we only had. Right, we only had about. Um, they were in the teens, 17, 18 stocks or so, okay? All right, so uh, let's do this. We might go long a bit longer. Let's do this. Let's get right to it, okay? 
All right, so here we're looking for buy signals. I'm going to open up the chart, chart here. Buy signals on, we need a buy signal on the daily time frame, right? On the weekly time frame, we need a, at a minimum, all right? At a minimum, um, a white candle. If we've got a red candle here on the weekly time frame, we, we, we can't take the trade. So at a minimum, white candle, red candle, that's great. We can trade it. Uh, buy signal, even better. All right, so let's go through these. We don't care about the sector right now. We're just going to look for the setup, okay? And that's too far gone, all right? Uh, buy signal was here at uh, 114. It's trading at 135. Good price action here on the weekly green candles. Boy, tempting to trade that. Uh, let's keep going. All right, you, 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 four U's, all right, four U's, all right. Um, green candles here, right, green candles here, all right. One, two, three weeks of, of, of buying, all right, nice buy signal here, breaking resistance, all right. Buy signal came in at 677, um, um, closed on Friday, seven. Uh, 24, all right? We're going to add that in stock boss. So you, 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 four use in stock boss. All right, let's keep going. All right, ARDX, ARDX uh, in stock boss. All right, um, good price action, buy signal. We have a nice buy signal on the weekly all the way down here. Green candles, big candle last week, closed. Buy signal came in at 4, 4, uh, 422 on a break of resistance right here. Nice big candle. Close Friday at 482. We're going to add that. A R D X. Okay. That's healthcare. Uh, and these are in stock boss, guys. Now we are looking for the best ones, okay? All right, uh, GSAT, G-S-A-T, all right, in stock boss. All right, nice markdown phase, right, breaking, broke, broke through resistance. Nice big candle here, green candle on the weekly time frame. You guys see that? Nice big candle here, all right? So GSAT, G-S-A-T. All right, S G H C. Now, if, if things turn around, guys, and we'll see it in the price action, right? We'll, you know, we'll just have to monitor these and close out. Okay, nice markdown phase. Buy signal came in at three sixty, closed on Friday at three eighty seven. All right, um, let's take a look at the weekly here. No, we're not going to go too heavy. Green candle here. Weekly time frame, good support. Buyers are coming in here. Nice big, nice big candle there. Now, we don't have to wait for a buy signal, right? As long as we have a, a, a solid white candle, 
a green candle, that's great. And I said that's SGHC, SGHC. All right, let's keep going. We're doing good on time. <clears throat> All right. I might remember, right? We're not going heavy. We're just starting to add, right? We have some confirmation. All right, good markdown phase. This fell from 37, all right? Uh, closed on Friday at $6.26. Buy signal came in at 601, so we need that buy signal. Look at this here, getting ready to break through resistance right here. So M, Q, M, Q, all right? I think this was one we were in before the previous run, okay? So we get another chance at it, all right? Uh, let's take a quick look at the weekly. I've looked at it already, so let's see here. All right, so... Uh, on the um, on the weekly time frame, really good markdown phase. Found good support, right? Right here, support right about here. I say that's good support. Even here, good support. Nice big green candle, guys. Last week, I right? closed last week. Nice green candle. We'll take that, okay? All day long, All right? So MQ, just a few more in stock, boss. That's gone. Uh, our stock boss traders, I'll make sure. I know not everyone come on the classes, so I will send this out to you guys. Uh, a bit choppy there, choppy. Yeah, so we wait on this one. All right. And that was BB there. All right, so that's it for that's it for stock boss. Um uh bull master. And let's see, how many did we have in Bowmaster? We have 76 in Bowmaster. So let's go through this quickly. And we'll see if we can find any technology, energy stocks, okay? Um, Oh, that's too bad. Good buy signal here, guys. A very choppy trading here. Good buy signal. All right. Weekly looks good, but very choppy chart. All right. A lot of indecision on that chart. Okay. All right. Let's keep going. We'll go through this quickly. We need that buy signal. You guys see some of, some of these have been running, right? So we need that buy signal, um, early buy signal, okay. All right, look at that horrible chart. All right, nice buy signal. Just because the buy signal looks good, guys, doesn't mean we're gonna trade it. Look at this chart. That's not tradable, okay? All right. That's not tradable.
You can visually just look at the chart and tell. Yes. <clears throat> All right, much better. Much better. All right. This one fell from 170. What's that? 171 to $22. I think we might have traded this before. Buy signal came in at 19, trading at 21, breaking resistance here. Good setup here. AFRM. Uh, and that is in Bull Master. Uh, it's great to finally start trading stocks again, guys. Notice how we can go from one market to the next, one system to the next, okay? On the weekly time frame, all right, look at this. Weekly time frame, good support here on AFRM, good support at 11.64, all right? Um, two weeks of buying, all right? Two weeks of buying here and here of solid buying, okay? So we know they're, they're definitely holding this stock right now, the institutions, okay? All right. So AFRM in Bullmaster, UBS, UBS Bank. All right, nothing there. And again, we're trying to get the best setups here. This one is gone. Uh, we start, we're seeing good price action. Look at this. All right. Um, now, this is a good one for those of our option traders, right? For calls. This is a, a, a decent one here. Um, fair from 269. It's a bit pricey. All right. Buy signal came in on Thursday, right? Gapped up on Friday. Buy signal came in at 78. Trading uh, closed Friday at 86. Not bad. All right. So O K T A. And that is in Bull Master. All right, let's take a quick look at the uh, weekly, all right? So weekly looks good. Look at the weekly here, all right? Look at this, good, all right, good, all right? I think some of our traders call, call this the mountain, right? All right, good markdown phase, up markup phase, markdown phase, and here we are on the weekly, right? Big candle, all we need is a, right? So I'm buying on that weekly. Good support down here, all right? All that selling has been done, all right? Big green candle, all right? Daily looks good. Buyers are coming in on the daily right here, all right? Oh, that's all we can do, guys. Find, reduce the risk, find the best setup, okay? That's all we're doing. That's all we're doing. Okay, TR, okay. Uh, OKTA, OKTA. All right. Uh, this markdown phase is choppy. Goodbye signals on the weekly and on the daily. Choppy chart, though. Not so good.
Oh, um, we're almost done. All right, not a very good shot there. Okay. Oh, this is a good setup. Let's take a look. All right, too far in the markup phase, guys, right? It's not down here. It's all the way up here. It's too far. Uh, that doesn't mean, now, you know, market was strong, healthy, buy signals across the board on the daily breaking resistance levels this would be a, a great trade but uh we still you know it's still risky right now okay All right, S, T, X, good markdown phase here, right? Fell from about, what's that? Um, fell from 116, all right? Uh, a decent risk reward. Buy signal came in at uh, 67, retraced, all right? Held, right? Breaking out now, at close Friday at 73. So we'll add that to Bullmaster. And uh, let's take a look at the weekly. It looks like we have a buy signal on the weekly. Uh, yeah, we do. Buy signal came in last week on the weekly. And look at a gorgeous buy signal, guys. Great buy signal. Look at this. I've if we trade it on the weekly, boy, <laughs> that would be a great setup here. So um, support from previous support all the way down here, right? Mark up, mark down, accumulation, mark up. Buy signal came in last week on the weekly, right? We don't trade on the weekly, but that's really good confirmation. Look at this big candle here, all right? And we have a buy signal fairly close to the buy signals over here, but now on this side, all right? Right. You may, if you guys pay attention, you know, and I know some of you have been with us for a while, and that's why I always say, keep your four market phases next to you, all right? Keep that four market phases chart, right, in your trading area, right? Accumulation, look, accumulation, mark up, mark down, accumulation, all right? Getting into that markup phase. So when you, you know, you can anticipate the move not be surprised and on the buy on the week on the daily time frame here we are here are buyers coming in all right it went through the markdown phase remember a lot of what we do is repetition right so these prices will go through some of the same cycles what we have to do is just be patient and wait right right don't get in a hurry all right. If it fails, no big deal. Get out, manage our losses, and wait for the next time. Okay. All right. So that was STX in uh, Bull Master. And we're right on time there.
All right. This might not be a bad one for calls. All right. We 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 do have some uh, some choppiness here. It is expensive, but this could this might go. All right. Um, if you guys look here, we've got really good resistance here. But now we're getting past that resistance. Okay. Buy signal came in at five uh, fifteen. Okay. Closed on Friday at 5.49. This will be the last one we do here. Okay, guys. 5.49. It fell from a high of 7, 7.60. Not great risk reward, but for, op for call options, you might be able to find, you know, some of you who trade options, that might be an opportunity there. All right. I would definitely go lightly there. But look at the weekly here. All right, look at the weekly, guys. Buy signal came in here. All right, look at the weekly. Just very strong stock. All right, um, this was the previous markup, markdown, accumulation, and here we are, markup on the weekly, on the weekly. All right, so very strong price action. Very, very strong price action. Um, I would be surprised if it, if it doesn't get, all right, back to 700, okay? Um, but again, it's expensive. So, you know, those of you who trade options, you might find some call options on this. Okay. And that symbol is I N I N T U. Is that into it? Yeah, that's into it. Okay. I N T U. All right. Very strong looking stock right now. Um, all right. I N T U in uh, bull master and let's just see one more nothing here all right uh let's take a look at this one and this is the last one here Uh, not a great chart. You know, this we, this we could trade this. Market's healthy. Things are really moving. We could take a chance with this, but, all right. So we have some opportunities. We have four, what, five in Stock Boss, three, four in Bull Master, five in Stock Boss, four in Bull Master. So not bad. Stocks are picking up again, all right? I mean, look at this, guys. We were looking at in the teens, right, 17. I tell you, heat seeker, pay attention to your heat seeker. Those of you who trade stock bars, bull master, heat seeker will let you know, right, what's happening out there. So we went from 16, 17, right, a week ago to almost, you know, over 70 uh, stocks in bull master and in stock bars. What's that? Uh, 39, all right, so 39 in stock bars, right, heat seeker for stock bars compared to, you know, like I said, 16, 17, uh, a week ago, all right? So they're definitely, and you guys see the price action, they're definitely starting to buy, all right? So that's good. Um, here, getting, like I said, we're getting buyers in, right? VIX is coming down, that's good. Still a lot of work to be done, all right? Market's still struggling, still a lot of work to be done. But at least we've seen some movements, okay? All right, guys. Um, great to be back. I'll see you guys tomorrow. See you guys tomorrow on Tuesday. Um, we're out from the holidays. So uh, we hopefully, hopefully, um, traders will get back to work and we can we, we will start to see some um, better direction in these markets, okay? All right, see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.